Let's just try to come in. All right, everybody ready to go? I'm going to close my front door here. I got a couple more people signed up. We'll see if they come. I actually got like three or four who aren't here. All right, it's game time. Let me get everybody's attention this way. So real quick, this is Danny up here. This is Danny's first time. Everybody say what's up. Okay, on a good day, Danny. So what we got, we got two sections up here. I'm going to put six minutes on the clock. We'll spend three minutes on that top section and three minutes on the bottom section. So that first one, we're going to do 10 heel sweeps, which where we go, it's just a small step. Shift those hips back and then sweep all the way up and stretch out high. So go five of those each side. Then we'll drop down. We'll go Spider-Man with a uh, rotation, five each side. Then we're going into 10 push-ups. So you're going to spend three minutes on those three. Then we'll move down to the second part where we're going to go 10 speed squats. So going fast, then 15 seal jacks. So that's where we got the arms here. Going out and in. Then we're going 20 high knees, so that'd just be 10 on each side. Okay? So three minutes we'll spend on that top part. So heel sweeps, Spider-Man step-ups with a rotation, and then the 10 push-ups. Let's get it going. It's time to wake up. Everybody should be awake. It's 6 a.m. It's late already. It's like middle of the afternoon. All right, Rachel, we're going. You can go ahead and get started. Good to go, Rachel. Okay. Let's keep cruising. Keep cruising. We've got about 30 seconds left, and then we're going to get into that warm-up. Remember that warm-up, I'm going to challenge you to get that heart rate up. All right, we're going to move into that bottom section now. So let's go ahead and go into 10 speed squats. So it'll be right there on the bottom. We want you to push the pace. Let's get 10, drop down, come up fast. There you go. That'll work.
Everybody's looking good. Remember, we're pushing that pace, really trying to get that heart rate up on this. Once you get those 15 seal jacks, we got 10 high knees each leg. And then you're right back into those speed squats. There you go, Rachel. You got it. I know it's hot in there. Just keep cruising. It doesn't take much to warm you up out there, I'm sure. About two minutes left. Keep cruising, keep rolling. So we got about a minute left, minute left. Getting tired? Should be starting to feel good, should be waking up, should be heating up. A little bit less than a minute, and then we're going to roll into this double 10 minute section. Got it, Danny, that's it, buddy. About 30 seconds, just keep cruising. Go ahead and take a break. We're going to go through what we got coming up. Let me switch this slide for Rachel over here. And anybody watching this replay. All right, so we're going to start out today. We've got uh, two sections. So one section will be over here at the rig. So everybody back here, that's where y'all will start. Everybody up here is going to start on the other section. Each one is 10 minutes long. You'll get two minutes in between to set your weights up, wipe stuff down, and put it back where it goes and all that good stuff. So I'm going to explain what we're going to do here, and then I'll go a little bit more detail with what if we need to change anything at home. Rachel, I know you'll be good to go regardless. So look at what we've got up here on the, on the screen. So for the first 10-minute set, and this applies to you all at home as well, the goal is to get three rounds in 10 minutes. This is if you're over there. So you're going bench press and rear foot elevated split squats. So... On, I'm going to come right here, Olivia, just so I can use this. On your bench press, remember, grab that bar. Try to rotate those arms outwards and jam your shoulder blades into that uh, bench. And your first set is going to be 12 reps. Once you're done with those 12, then you're going to get up. You'll have a dumbbell um, or a plate because we're going to use all the kettlebells up here. You're going to go rear foot elevated split squats for 12 reps each leg with that weight in the goblet position. So it will be a kettlebell here. Put your calves on that bench. Keep your feet at least as wide as your hips. Don't stand on here with your feet super close together. Feet nice and wide and keep them there. And then you're going to just take a big step out. One, two, and then find that bench behind you, keeping that wide stance. And you're going to sink down and back. And there's always a little bit of a backwards motion as you get to the bottom of this. Most of your weight is in that heel on the front foot. So we want to make sure that as we come down, we're holding that weight, we're tight through that core, we sit down and back, and then drive up. You should feel a little stretch here, but not a massive stretch. If you're getting a massive stretch there, you're going probably further back and arching up further than you should. We wanna stay here, put all the work in this front leg. So if you're keeping a ton of tension through here, this is nice and balanced and tight, we should drop, come up, squeeze hard, drop down, come up and squeeze hard. The one thing we want to avoid is if you come down and lean forward and your heel comes up, that's too much pressure on your knee. That's why we got that little bit of backwards motion. So 12 each leg. So 12 on the bench, 12 each leg. Then heavier on the bench, go 10. Then 12 again on each leg. And then heavier on the bench, go 8. And then 12 on each leg. Does that make sense? 
So that's what y'all will do the second 10 minute set. Up here, we're gonna go, and then at home, if you don't have anything to elevate your foot on, you can always go here, split your stance, and just go down and up. And you can always do a floor press from the ground if you don't have anything to lay on at home. So then, on the second 10 minute set, we have a double kettlebell front squat. So I wanna make sure we pick these up properly. So when you pick these up, I like to put mine at an angle, but I want you to have your thumbs pointed back. So not like this, not like this, definitely not like that. Point your thumbs back. So if everybody did thumbs down, like not all the way down, but like at an angle, think like the letter V, that's gonna help you get these in a good position. And we're gonna start with a nice wide stance when we pick these up. So there's room for them to swing through here because we're gonna swing them up as tight as we can. So we grab, lock down, swing them up, bring them to that rack position. So you'll wanna, I forgot to, but flip your watch around before you do this. Then you can reset your feet into a comfortable squat stance and we're gonna go 12 reps. All the other squat rules apply, sit down and back, drive up. You can play around what you do with your fingers. Some people like to do this. Some people just like to bring their hands together. It really depends. Some people like to curl their knuckles in so their fingers can't get in between there. I usually just bring mine together. Depends on how heavy your weight is. That's gonna dictate, but just sit down and back. And this is gonna be challenging. Two kettlebells in the rack to squat with is tough. It's hard to breathe. You gotta hold a ton of tension through that midsection. Now, when you put them down, widen that stance back out, swing them through, and then drop down. Let that momentum take them out in front. Okay, make sure we're putting them down and picking them up properly. So you got 12 reps there. Then we're gonna go into our split stance. You can use that same kettlebell or something heavier. And we're gonna pull up back towards the back hip. And then two, one. So come up, hold, come down, two, one. Every time, remember, you're pulling towards that hip. Some people tend to get too narrow on this and they sort of round their back. So let's get wide, pull back towards that hip. So that's what y'all are doing up here. Y'all go ahead and start getting your weights out. I'll give you two minutes at home. Rachel, you're good to go. Uh, you got, you're gonna go from a stability ball or from your box, right? For that floor press or chest press. And you can go single arm if you need to. And then, um, yeah, you're good on the split squat too. That box, how high does it go as low as 20? 12? All right, so 20 is the lowest. So we usually like a regular bench is 18. So just, just see how the 20 feels when you go to do that rear foot elevated split squat. And remember, keep that stance about, you know, about as wide as your hips. No, you don't want to be in here like this and then try to put your foot up because you'll fall over. All right, so we got two, we'll get about a minute and a half longer. We'll be ready to go. Say, so try to get some warm up sets in, play around with those double kettlebell front squats, get loose. Practice, practice, practice. We're gonna get into it for real. Oh, my folks up here in the front, when you're doing the double kettlebell front squats and the uh, bent over rows, we're just gonna go for 10 minutes straight. So you'll probably get four, maybe five rounds. When we're back there, we're only gonna do three. So definitely get some practice in if you haven't done those before. Flip that watch around. Olivia, you could probably do the bent over row with that or this right here too, that's a 20. Got about 30 seconds and we'll get started.
All right, let's get into it. We're going 10 minutes. Remember, three rounds in the back. Up here, we're going to go for that 10 minutes the whole time. So, Rachel, your goal is three rounds as well where you're at. Anybody at home doing the replay, your goal is three rounds. If you don't have enough weight to go up on your chest press at home, stick with that set of 12 every time. Otherwise, let's get it going. We got three rounds back here, so you got a little bit of time to rest, but those split squats take a little bit of time. You really want to sit way back on that heel. All right, everybody's looking good. Remember, you got time to rest a little bit in between rounds. There you go, Rachel. Just straight up and down on that split squat. That's perfect. Depending on how your back's feeling everything day, if you end up needing to hold that weight down low, we can always do that. How you feeling? Y'all got this. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. We're ready. Remember, we did drop two reps from one set to the next on the bench press. Don't get shallow on me. Good job. Got that, Stephanie. Yeah. So we are almost halfway through. So think about that. Remember, your goal is three rounds of back here where the bench is. And y'all can just keep cruising up front. Get it, fellas. Come on. Where we at?
We got it. We got it. We love split squats, especially in the goblet position. There you go. Everybody's looking solid, digging those rows. Remember, pulling that weight towards your back pocket. There we go. Going to eight, right? Keep rolling through. Last two minutes. Last two minutes. Up front, y'all should be at least in round three, if not further. Let's get eight on this bench press, fellas. Come on. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Keep digging. Keep pushing. Come on. Good job. Good job. Keep rolling through at home, Rachel. You got that. Hey, remember, we're in that last minute and a half. So we can keep moving up front. And then on that bench press, once you finish that third round, we'll get that stuff wiped off and put away. Rachel, if you got three, just rest. Anybody at home who's gone through three, y'all just take a break. I'm going to go ahead and switch that slide up for you at home. But we have time before we're going to get into it. Split squats looking good, ladies, looking solid. Good hip position, good knees. So with anything. So once you finish up, we're going to have about two minutes to switch it up. Wipe your equipment down, and we're going to switch spots. So you should be, if you're up front, we want you to go ahead and move to those bench press. And anybody else can come on up, bring those kettlebells with you. I got a couple 26s up here. All right, Mike, we got how much you got?
We should be ready to move here about 40 seconds. 40 seconds. You want to go ahead and get those kettlebells out for your double kettlebell front squats. I got some 26s up here. You might end up rowing something different than your squatting as well. We did use, we did use. All right, Rachel, you ready to go? So you're going, you got squats and the single arm row. Right, we're going 10 minutes. So you can go for the full 10 minutes on this, or you're trying to get at least three rounds and then rest. All right, folks, I got this clock running. Let's get to it. So you got bench press for 12, split squats 12 each leg. Remember, you're dropping two reps each round on your bench press. Up here, you got 12 squats and 10 rows each arm you got time you'll have plenty of time up here you'll have plenty of time to get at least three rounds but we want you to go the whole 10 minutes up here Y'all have plenty of time built in for rest up there with the bent over rows and those double kettlebell squats. All right, what we've got written up today is for y'all to get through that three times in 10 minutes. Most people were able to get four or five this morning at five. So if you can keep pushing on that, we're going to keep pushing. All right, let's go again. Oh, them split squats are going to get you. Now, hey, if, if it's getting your knee, we want to make sure that, so when we're here, we take a big step forward, another big step, and then bring that foot up. If, usually if it's hurting your knee, like on the front, we're probably too close to the bench. Come out just a little bit, Amanda. Right there. There you go. And sit down and back. I sit right there. And remember, we do all that pushing through that, mostly through that front heel but you can still dig those toes in. You want that whole foot grabbing the ground on the front. Key here is not pushing with the back leg on that bench at all. You could probably hop forward a little bit. There you go. And get that right there on the bench. That's, think like it's gonna help you hang on the bench. Now sometimes you might have to go a little bit wider, like with your foot hanging on that bench. If you're too narrow here, it's going to get hard to balance. So you come out a little bit wider, so it makes it more like a squat. 
There you go. That's it. That's solid. All right, Ricky, let's go, buddy. How we looking? Michelle and Laura, both back positions look good on those rows. Keep it up. Try to pull that weight towards your hip pocket. Pull backwards with it. So just like we sink back on a split squat, we're going to pull up and back with that row. There you go, Mike. We'll go a little deeper. That's it right there, buddy. Really dig back into those heels. Don't let your heels come up ever on a squat. That back feeling all right? Okay. Got that, Rachel. Looking good. I like the double dumbbells. Yeah. Hey, everybody's looking good, so we're right at that halfway point. Remember, you got time to rest. I know that double kettlebell uh, front squats are tough. It's hard to hold those weights up. It's hard to breathe because you got to maintain tension. It's almost like squatting and holding your breath. That's part of the experience. That's part of what makes that movement different from squatting with a bar. We're going to embrace that today and dig in. Suck it up, buttercup. There we go, Laura. You ready? You ready, Hoover? Good clean. Good clean. I said, as you get tired, those elbows might come up. That's all right. You're getting real tired. If you can keep them down, keep them down. Sometimes those kettlebells are going to want to fall off your chest, too, as you get tired. Got to pull them in tight. Mike, let's widen that stance, man. Put that back leg further back. Give yourself some space. Like, I get, I get way out here when I do these. Like, I can almost touch the floor. And it helps you keep that back straighter. So we got four minutes. Then we're getting into some really fun cardio. We ready, we ready, come on now. I guess rough, it's rough holding those up, isn't it? Much rather just throw a bar on your back. We got it, we got it, come on. Keep rolling. There you go, Ricky. Remember, y'all got 12 on those. Come on. Love some of these effort faces I'm seeing on this. Come on, Ricky. We got it, buddy. Ready, Laura. Yeah. Yeah. About two minutes left. Remember, you only need three rounds on that bench press section. And you're dropping two reps each round on your bench press. Come on, let's get deep. Let's get deep now. Yeah. You got that, Olivia. So hold up at the top. Bring your hands out to mine. Slide them out all the way. There you go. So we usually use our thumbs to distance you from the edge right there. That'll get you in a little bit better hand position for most people. Oh. Yeah, we always think like a good two-second drop so you got good control every time. Get up. Let's go, Fields. I got you. Come on.
So we're on that last minute. Just keep rolling through. Time is up. So, Rachel, you can – oh, I like the plate, by the way. Good call. Um, you can finish that up and then get some water, take a break. We're going to move into our cardio after this. I'm going to go ahead and switch that slide up so you can take a look at home. Um, we do have mountain climbers, Rachel. If you feel like we want to change this, we can change it. We just want something that we can quickly transition with. That's what makes this tough today. All right, let's get all that stuff wiped down. And then if you want to, we'll get everybody to come back up to one of these front squares. We got some quick, down, and dirty, and nasty cardio we're going to get in today. It's only six minutes of work, but if you got a my zone belt on, we should be seeing lots of yellow and red up top, especially once we get into that second round. It'll be two minutes on, 30 seconds off. You need a dumbbell for alternating dumbbell snatches. Yeah, you want this? And that might be wet, and you don't want to, like... I mean, you'll eat it, like, hard. Mike, let's get, like, a 35-pound uh, like dumbbell. They're uh, right there on the bottom over there. And, Laura, when you're done with that, I'm going to put it back up front because I'll use it to demonstrate. Rogue has some new kettlebells out. All right, we're about to get into it. So, all right, two minutes. I'm going to borrow this, Ricky. Um, two minutes of work, 30 seconds of rest. We're going to go through this three times, okay? Alternating dumbbell snatches for five each arm. So we are challenging you on the weight on that today. Notice we got 50 or 35 for guys, 35 or 20 for the ladies. So somewhere in there. Um, and then you got mountain climbers just for 10 each leg. What's tough about this is that quick transition up, down, up, down, up, down. So it's only two movements. It's not a lot of reps, which, a lot get, which means a lot of movement overall um, as you're going through this for only two minutes. 
So two minutes of work, 30 seconds of rest, three times through that uh, alternating dumbbell snatch. Remember when we do that, we're gonna go all the way overhead and you can either switch at the bottom or you can switch on the way down, explode up. I like to switch on the way down. I feel like I'm a little bit smoother with it, but you can come down, switch hands, and then explode back up. If you wanna go all the way to the floor and switch, you can. I just find when most people go to the floor, they start rounding their back um, or they're sticking their butt up and they end up overstretching their back. So I like to get people going to the hang position on this so we don't, um, or irritate anybody's back. So it's only five each arm, then we're gonna drop down. Go into those smooth mountain climbers for 10 each leg. I'm not doing this. Don't do that. Keep those toes up. So these are like high knees and we're pushing that pace. So that's it. Snatches, mountain climbers. Two minutes on, 30 seconds off, max effort. Uh, outside that middle, or no, right by that middle door. Just rub it in real good so we don't spread it. Oh, right here, over here, Laura, middle door. It's sitting inside, actually. If you don't mind, stay outside. Everybody at home should have dumbbells, should be able to do this. Rachel, you good with that? You can always pull that dumbbell from like the side out here too. If you don't want to pull straight up the front, if you feel like it's getting too far away or you're worried about hitting anything. That's what I worry about. All right, we're going to crank it up. Yeah. Oh, I got my clock ready to go. 10 seconds and we're going. Wake up, get pumped up. It's Monday, it's time to do work. Time to start the week off right. Go ahead, pick that up, Danny. And let's go. Oh, we are already 40 seconds in. I see some good weights on these dumbbell snatches. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go get it, Mike. Get up, buddy. Come on. You're over here right by the fan. We got no excuses today. Let's go get it. That's it. Hey, a little more legs, a little more uh, jump with it. Make the legs do the work. I want to see your heels come up. Jump. That's it. Jump a little more. There we go. Now see how smooth that was? Jump every time. Literally jump, literally. Oh, we already got good colors on the screen. Let's get it, Hoover. Got that, Dupuyer, come on. Let's go, Olivia, pick it up and go. Come on, you got it. That's it, just go about right here with that dumbbell. Boom, jump, I wanna see you jump every time. It's like basketball, jump. That's it, see how much faster that went up? That gets those legs doing the work, just think. Boom. 19 seconds, don't quit. Don't quit, let's keep rocking. Remember, we got that 30 second break coming up. Eight seconds left, you're gonna pick up right where you leave off. Get one more. Rest, good job. You got 30 seconds, 30 seconds and we're going again. Rachel, Carol, I know you're feeling good in the garage. It's hot. I know it's hot out there. Just yeah, get, dump some water on your head. Do what you got to do. I'd be dying. You're probably used to it by now, though. You've been rocking this for months. There you go. All right. Six seconds. Remember, pick up right where you left off. Let's get ready. Go, 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 go. Bringing the sun up. This is how we do it. We're going to do it with a little bit of sweat. Keep cruising. All you got is two minutes, and then we'll take a break. Remember, we want to see those legs do the work on those snatches. A little bit of a jump. Those heels pop. Make them pop off the ground. There we go. Come on now. Get up there, Hoover. Get up. Punch through. Punch through. Punch. That's it. Good work, Michelle.
Come on, we got this. We got this. About a minute left. Looking good, Rachel. That's it. That's it, Amanda. That's it. Come on now. Not done. There you go, Mike. Come on, man. Get them legs working. Get them legs working. It's like you're going to jump. Legs are what are doing the work on that. Ooh, 30 seconds. Come on. Come on. 30 seconds, and then you get a full 30-second break. We got it. We got it. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, 18 now. Keep digging. Keep digging. One more. One more. One more. One more. Rest, 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 rest. All right, you got one more time, and that's it. And remember, you're going to pick up where you left off. So last round right here. You got to dig in. We're going to stretch after this. Let's go. Come on, 15 seconds. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Don't die yet, Mike. Let's go now. All right, three, two, one. Here it is, two minutes, two minutes, let's go. Come on, you got it, you got it. Don't let it beat you, don't let it beat you, keep pushing. We got this now, we got this. Yeah. Ready to go, Ricky. Ready to go, Ricky. Come on. Work, Amanda. Good work. Good work. Got that, Stephanie. That's big weight. All right, about one minute. Got about one minute. Come on now. We got this. We got this. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Ricky. Ain't no joke with that 50, buddy. Killing it, dude. Killing it. Killing it, buddy. Come on. Come on. Yeah, Mike. All the way up, buddy. Let's pop. Let's see that heel come up. All right, you are past the minute. 45. Let's get it now. Keep working. You got it. Come on, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Let's dig, let's dig, let's dig, let's dig. Where we at, where we at? 20 seconds, come on. Let's go, you got it, Mike. You got it, Amanda, keep going. Good work, Olivia, good work. You got 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Don't stop moving, don't quit early, don't quit on yourself, let's keep it up. We're going to literally drop to the floor and stretch after this. All right, drop down, rest. We're going to go into, Rachel, you might do this on a stability ball at home. Just sink back on your heels, walk your arms out, and catch your breath. Relax. And get that clock going. We're going to spend a good 30 seconds in that position. Breathe, breathe. Awesome job today. All right, we're going to go into a cat cow. So all fours. Remember, as you go through this, when you uh, go into that cat back, 
let's make sure we're bringing that chin towards your chest. So you want to actively push the ground away with your hands. Push the ground away and then bring that chin, tuck it to the chest. And then we go into that cow the opposite way. So pull that navel or pull that uh, sternum towards the floor and then bring your eyes up and that chin towards the ceiling. And just spend a good three to five seconds in each position and roll through that at your own pace. We're going to spend another 20 seconds going through that. All right, we'll switch into a pigeon stretch with the right leg. So we're going to swing that right leg through and forward and try to work that foot forward. There you go. Bring that right foot around, Danny. So watch this. Yeah, there you go. Try to work towards that. You should feel a big stretch back here. Just kind of sink down a little bit. You can go like this if you want to relax. Switch legs, switch legs. She did what? All right, that's it for today. Awesome job, everybody. Make sure we wipe everything down. I'm about to come through and clean the floors. Um, all, all the dumbbells and stuff in your area, we're going to actually put away, except for that kettlebell you have, Laura, because I'm going to keep that to demonstrate. Great job, Rachel. Thank you. Yeah, oh, this is great. We got a new setup now. Um, I can hear you a lot better. Oh, great. Like you're on a bigger TV, so you're on a 42 inch TV up here instead of a 32 inch, and you're up on the the wall. I got all my wires run down to the wall. They're not hanging out loose anymore. Nice. Right on. You sound really clear too. And I like the angle. So. Good, good, good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. This little headset mic's been awesome for the virtual because I think it deadens out all of most of the rest of the sound. Yeah, it does. Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Well, you have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too.